<laughs> well, welcome to Greatest Hits Radio. And of course, um, you've teamed up with Boy George and you've done a song called Shine On. How did that evolve? How did that come about? You know, it happened in, in uh, lockdown. George got in contact with me and wanted me to uh, be part of his project, which was called Cool Karaoke. And we did a song. And um, But anyway, so we had a chat about it on Zoom. And I said, look, George, I, I'm, I'd loved and I'd be honoured to be on your project. Um, guess what? I've got a big project too and I would love you to be on my project so we sort of did a bit of um back scratching arrangement nice. and um uh, he loved the song shine on and he couldn't wait to put his vocals on it and hasn't he done an amazing job it's it's an amazing thing how things have moved but your songs from uh, I mean Kids in America is 40 years old this year mm -hmm. and in 2021 mm -hmm. it still sounds as fresh as yeah, it's, it's a really special record. Um, I remember back in the day when it was released, it was selling 60, 70,000 copies a day. Um, yeah, it, it's, it's a perennial. It's, it's going to be played on Mars. It's, it's a song that's never going to go away. It's, it's a song every time I play it live, totally ignites the audience and uh, make, keeps it fresh, you know, Russ. It just keeps it fresh. The audience are doing that for me. I, uh, I must admit that that, early period of uh, of checkered love uh cambodia uh view from a bridge i think view from a bridge is is one of your greatest hits i absolutely love it oh that's great yeah well we play all those songs live we've got a greatest hits that's been um you know sort of postponed over the last year or so of course and that's going up next september uh in the uk and all over uh the uk uh, all over mainland europe so <clears throat> yeah i will be singing view from a bridge for sure as well as kids in america and cambodia and checkered love and all the rest of them i've seen you live a couple of times uh most memorably um as support at wembley stadium july 1988 and of course you you played in liverpool as well a lot of my friends um said there were that Aintree race course when you supported Michael yeah. Jackson back in 1980 yeah. which must have been absolutely phenomenal and I know the stage was huge at, at Wembley Stadium the old Wembley Stadium as it was and that was incredible I also saw you play a Greenpeace gig um at the Royal Albert Hall but 1986 and there was a whole host of stars that night there was Nick Kershaw Belui Sum and I'm pretty sure on that same bill there was a, a little known band then called In Excess uh, do you remember that tour? I do. I, was that was that the Albert Hall, wasn't yeah. it? Yeah. Yeah, I do remember that very well. And um, uh, I think I had I, I was sporting some hair extensions, which were all the rage at the time. Um, but yeah, I mean, I've worked with so many amazing people. I was on tour with Bowie, of course, back in in nineteen ninety. Uh, the, the 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 Jackson tour was incredible. Those gigs at uh, Wembley Stadium. I think we did seven on the trot. Oh. Um, just astonishing experience to be uh, opening for him. Really, he was at his peak at that point. Yeah. Um, uh, true, you know, really inspiring and really up my game. And um, so I think that was a big turning point in my, my in my professional life. And um, yeah, so uh, I love playing live. For me, playing live has been the most rewarding and most exciting chunk of my career.